Hello everybody, this is Nexaz bringing you another cast from the r slash casted subreddit. Uh, I am currently on my lunch break right now, but I figured it'd be a great time to get a cast done. So uh, let's get this action started and hope my program is not missing up. So right here in the bottom right hand corner of the map, we have our red zerg player, I Bleed Orange. And in the top right hand corner of the map, we have our blue Terran player, SG Kozop. Kaza? SG. We have SG. And he is asking just what I've been wondering. How do you get orange blood? Magic, apparently. <laughs> Magic kit. Okay, so um, I have casted a game for I Bleed Orange before. I didn't get to post it, unfortunately, because my program wasn't working, and I really hope it's working right now. But we'll see how everything works out. Uh, this is a, um, I think it's a Masters level match, but... I probably should have looked into that prior to starting this cast. So it looks like this is pretty standard play. This is the new map, Condemned Ridge. I actually do not care for it too much. It could be because I'm a Zerg player, but it just doesn't... I always seem to get this little... Like, my opponent always seems to spawn right here, and I always spawn right here. And I just do not enjoy it. And some people might consider me weird, but oh well. Now we do see them both scouting to the wrong base first, but we do have I Bleed Orange sending a second drone scout up top here to try and find if SG is hiding up here. Now it does look like we're going to be seeing a standard 16 hatch from I Bleed Orange, and that's, that's pretty standard even in from lower leagues up to higher leagues against a Terran player. And I Bleed Orange does see that SG is in this top right hand corner so he does have scouting information pretty early on and SG is still not 100% sure where he's actually at so he's going to check this bottom left hand corner it looks like let's see yep he's going to check this bottom left hand corner first off that barracks is almost done and we do have a normal command coming up that 16 hatch did go down successfully so we'll probably see pretty standard maybe some uh, I'd like to see some blings and infestors. There's that spawning pool right down to 17 following that hatch. Now, this, I believe Orange did this exact same thing in the last match I cast for him, where he did put a spawning pool up front, which is obvious. I mean, every Zerg is going to have a spawning pool, so why hide it? But I personally like to put my my uh, spawning pool down in this back area, so it's a little bit more protected, and it serves as a spot that can't be dropped in on. And here is that SCV finally coming up to scout I Bleed Orange. He is going to see that second uh, hatchery coming up. The second base is coming up. And you'll see the spawning pool almost done. And he's just sitting there. We do have two, refi uh, two refineries coming up now. So we are going to see a lot of gas. Probably some uh, mech play. And his uh, second, his natural is being built up right now. See a bunker going up right at the ramp because obviously SG's going to want to try and protect himself. Nice, get a nice little turtle going on. So it's nice to see. I mean, this I'm pretty sure this is a Masters level game, and I'm hoping I can actually learn something just by watching it because you never know what's going to happen. Now it looks like I believe Orange is going to try and swing this Overlord up and around just so he can kind of get a nice back. Uh, side view of this, which could tell me he might actually be one of those rare players that like to go Nidus Worm. Which I've tried before, and if you don't get the surprise off, then it does not end well for you. How many queens is he at right now? He's only at two queens, but he did opt to throw down a Creep Tumor instead of getting that first inject, which he did do in the last match too, so he is he's very concerned with spreading his Creep. And honestly, that is a good thing, but I don't. I think it can wait as opposed to not having that inject because that's four extra larva you could be using. He's just going to continue to drone up. However, he's not going to throw any zerglings onto the field just yet. And it, otherwise, this has been a pretty passive game. I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a. Uh, third base go up soon for I Bleed Orange. Does have a Roach Warren and Metabolic Boost in process right now. While we are seeing SG getting a Starport up now. <laughs> so it looks like we're probably going to be seeing MMM play. Uh, standard and... Eh, I mean, if you get enough Infestors, and that's... Oh no, there we go. The Reactor Hellions are up right now. 
And they're probably gonna go out and do some harassment. But against these, uh... This, the queens do do better against uh, Hellions now, so they aren't as useful if you know that there's a, the Zerg's gonna have queens all around. But it looks like they're just grabbing the watchtower for right now, so I, could, I was wrong about the, uh... Eh. <sighs> I am tired right now, I apologize. We do have a, uh, Banshees in process right now with some cloaking fields, so they are going to be able to do a little bit of harassment if I Bleed Orange does not get some detection up soon. That Baneling Nest is being built, so he's probably going to go for a, not a late Baneling bust, but a, a Baneling bust. Up here at uh, SG's base, we do have uh, Stim being researched right now. While well, Andy is starting to build up a nice little army, so, uh, so as opposed to SG, who did wait a while to start building his lings and roaches up, we do have. I'd like to say that SG has a considerable. No, actually, his army supply is way back now. He hasn't been building as many. He's been more focused on the tech. We do have a nice little push coming out. From I believe orange, and these this will do a considerable amount of damage as there are not there's nothing in this bunker, and it's going to go down very quickly. He is pulling those SCVs back and lifting off so that this second base is not going to destroy. But those oh those were down, so we did get straight into that base, and that is not going to end well. These bases are going to come in and try and hit these SCVs, but they do seem to blow off over nothing. And these roaches are going to do damage, and this is just. He is in here, and I want to see how SG is going to survive this, because, oh, here we go. There's the Banshee going to take out these units that can only attack the ground, slowly but surely. So, as long as I Bleed Orange is trying to chase these SCVs down, this Banshee is going to slowly pick off all these units. But now that I Bleed Orange knows that uh, SG is going for Banshees, he is getting some Spore Crawlers up to protect his main base. And his natural, I'm hoping. Yep, there is one in the mineral line of each of his bases. Ah, look at all that creep. That is a lot, a lot of creep tumors. We do have these Zerglings trying to chase down this. He did escape though. 11 health. And this, he is just sending all of his over. Why is he, is he sending his overlords over here? Maybe it's a bad rally point? These Banshees are going to very easily clean up these Roaches now, who will not be able to take out these just these few Banshees. We do have Siege Tech being researched right now by SG. And we do have two more hatcheries coming up right now, so we're having a Macro Hatch and the third coming up. Third is going down at a rare, kind of an odd position, because that is where the fourth should go. Maybe even the fifth. I, I think the natural progression would be your natural, and here would be your third. I think you would even probably go for this one prior to going over here for your fourth. So that is a uh, is a weird choice for his third. He is um, getting Glial Reconstitution up to get speed for those roaches. He did have 12 roaches just pop. These Banshees are going to be doing some damage because these Queens cannot see anything. And that, why are you laying down this many creep tumors? I do not understand the thought process behind this at all. These Banshees are doing damage right now, as nothing can see. There's that Overseer finally, and these Queens are going to try and pick off these Banshees. But if I Bleed Orange doesn't start to get other units that can hit air, then these things are going to slowly just do some damage. We do have this big Roach push coming down out right now. They are 0-0, and that Glad Reconstitution is about to finish, so they will have speed. But at 0-0, that... Uh, well, let's see... Nope. SG is also 0 0, so there is no difference here. But this Siege Tech did come in handy to slowly pick out a lot, a lot of those Zerglings before they could get up. And these Roaches are going to clean up rather quickly now. As these, these Banshees are just doing damage. And we have three more Queens in production, so it seems I Bleed Orange uses the Queens as an attacking force. And that may be why he's just spewing out these creep tumors everywhere so he can get those queens on nice and quickly. He is going he did get these gases up really quickly, however, so he is stockpiling all of that mineral and gas. He does have twelve hundred gas sitting in the bank right now. He has two evolution chambers in production, so he's gonna start trying to get those upgrades very shortly. 
and an infestation pit. So we're going to probably see infestors coming out very shortly to try and start whittling away at this base. We, uh, SG is still at only two bases, and he's not even getting any gas from his natural. So he's actually rather low on gas, and if he w was smart, he would uh, start getting those gases up. Otherwise, he is going to fall behind very quickly on the tech play. We only have four banelings about to pop, so I'm not quite sure what he's going to do with those, but... Oh, those stim marines just took out a queen. That probably hurt just a tad bit. There's those four banelings. What's he going to do? We do have 1-1 being researched right now for I Bleed Orange, while Combat Shield's being researched for SG. SG has yet to even start researching. He doesn't even have an engineering bay up, so he's not even going for any upgrades which does kind of concern me because at this level you do want to have upgrades otherwise the army doesn't matter on size the army is going to slowly get just taken out and this these SCVs do come out and repair these banshees up because those banshees are a very good attack force against the non-air hitting uh, roaches we do have a uh, burrow being researched along with uh, pathogen glands at the same time so he's going to want to be able to get those infestors around nice and hidden which actually may work out because SG does not have any detection in his base other than his scans. And he is throwing out an attack force slowly, but all this creep of I Bleed Orange is getting the ability to see all this attack. These infestors are out now, but with nothing to scout these, these two banshees are going to just attack and attack. However, he does get a nice... I'd say that was a, that was a nice uh, fungal growth right there, but... Oh, he just got a lot of damage right there from all these marines that just hit. He's going to try and push out again, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Those two banelings are going to try and run in, but they did not do anything. And these infestors are just getting picked off by these siege tanks. And this is just not ending very well. Where is he sending all of these overlords? He has them sort of positioned. How many, what's, what's the unit count? So we have 46 slings, 5 infestors, and 3 queens on the field right now. So he does keep losing his queens, and he's, well, he's using them for injects, but he's just all, bringing them right back to the front line every single time. That third base did go down, and he's going to try and rebuild it, but he did get his fourth up really quickly when he saw that big force coming out. So... This is where his third should be, and I believe it should be right here because this is a natural um, progression. We do have this SCV just hiding out up here, and does I really don't want to see that? No, that's that's wrong. I believe Orange does not see that SCV sitting up there, so I'm not sure if that's on purpose or SG just forgot about him. Does does have his third base finally coming up, and he is starting to put missile turrets down. So that does mean he is worried about those uh, about those infestors just getting in with Burrow. He does have two engineering bays up, but he is not researching anything, and he does not have the gas to research anything either because he is still yet to try um, yet to start harvesting from these other Vespian geysers. We got this big Zergling run in coming in, and with this planetary fortress uh, being morphed in, I don't know if uh, they will. Yeah, they're going to take out all these Zerglings before this planetary fortress goes down. And he's going to start repairing it so that it will be nice, safe, and sound. All these siege tanks are doing a very good job at stopping any quick attacks. <laughs> did scan. He did think that there was an attack coming in, but that proved to be incorrect. I still can't get... What is with all of these creeps? That's just wasted energy. You did scan and see that this infestor army is just waiting around, waiting to do some damage. <laughs> and where are we in Evil Chamber? Where are you? We are at 2 2 right now with uh, melee attacks and ground carry. I'm surprised he didn't go for missile attacks with those infestors. But if he's not planning on throwing any infested Terran, ter Terrans down, then it doesn't really matter. He does have a greater spire in the works right now, so it looks like he's going to be moving into into uh, Broodlords, which will be. I always I love Broodlords; they're so much fun. I wonder what he's doing with these little Zerglings. He's going to try. It looks like he's going to try and flank this army. 
He's attacking both sides, and that is a great method. But with... Oh, no, that's an excellent fungal growth by, I believe, Orange. That hit everything right there. And these guys are stuck there, but he is not pushing the attack. So, there's another great fungal growth. That, these are just some excellent fungal growths. And then Fesseter and I are going down to clean up the rest of this army right here. And these medevacs are also going to go down. So, that army just got completely cleaned up. I would love to see I Bleed Orange actually push out right now and try and take out this third. But then again, this planetary fortress and these siege tanks are out very quickly. We are very close on supply, 112 to 123 in favor of I Bleed Orange, but he's very quickly pushing out 5 Brew Lords and 4 more Corruptors, 20 Lings, and he's getting that Flyer Care face up right now. We're finally seeing 1-1 one, one coming up from SG, which it's about time at 21 minutes. He should have had that a long time ago. <laughs> and where are we on Worker Count? I believe Orange is ahead, 84-62, but at four bases, that is how it should be. He should be far ahead. And the army supply is surprisingly similar. He does... We do have a attack speed coming up for the Zerglings now. And 40 more Zerglings are in production. So this is... He loves his Zerglings. Look at this attack force right now, though. This is going to be devastating if he can get them all in at the same time. These Zerglings are going to just come up here and start to wait for the attack. And that 40 more Zerg, that is just, that is crazy. How many Zerg, 26 more are in production. Where are we? We are at 69 Zerglings. That is, he's not turning any of them into Banelings. And he could if he wanted to. He has the money. 34. And I don't know if SG is exactly planning on anything. He's just kind of going for everything. Getting a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And he's just not sure. And these Zerglings are going to just run in and try and swarm. But they are all getting attacked, destroyed down. Those Zerglings did take a lot of damage. They quickly dropped in numbers down to 35. But that was a great fungal growth. And these Broodlords are going to just... These are just taking out everything in their path. And I love Broodlords just for that reason alone. They just will keep on throwing these Broodlings out and whittle everything down slowly but surely. And he needs to get... The re four more Broodlords are coming in. This is going to be a great push. I think this is going to be the GG push right now. <sighs> These Infestors are just hanging out, waiting to get a nice fungal growth in. And now would be a great time, because they all have plenty of energy. And are just sitting around while... Yeah, there we go. Great fungal growth on all these SCVs, so they can't do anything. They're just sitting around while these Broodlings and Zerglings are doing the damage. But this planetary fortress is not going down quickly at all. And with nothing else to defend his air, this Viking itself is just slowly picking off these Broodlords. All these Zerglings are just hanging out back here. They could be doing plenty more damage. He did throw down some infested Terran, trying to take out this base. But with all these guys repairing, there is the GG by SG. And that was, in fact, an excellent game on both parts. I believe Orange did finish off with 176, 256 supply. And it, that was an excellent game. Don't game. I, I love that game. I believe Orange showed that you can change up everything and go for a nice variety in attack. And that was just wonderful uh this was a cast from the r slash cast subreddit i am nexas if you want to follow me on twitter i am at nexas1 you can always subscribe to me here on youtube like and comment if you enjoyed the video or if there's anything i can do to fix my casting style i know i seem out of breath right now but i'm talking incredibly fast uh you can also follow me on twitch tv at twitch t twitch.tv slash nexas uh, if you want anything cash, you can always drop it on the r slash cast subreddit or email it to me at nexussc2 at gmail.com. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I hope you guys turn in for more of my casts.